It's me, Edward Jones, back with a new video, Coyotes Running Wild. Uh, first thing I want to do is give a shout out to my boy Jason Busby. It says company dialed. So you can see the shirt. Uh, it's a small business in Casey, South Carolina, bicycle repair shop. We used to work together. Uh, he's a, he has a small thing going, he has a small shop going on, and I'm just going to give him, give him a shout out. If you're in the Columbia area, you want your bike worked on, give uh, give Dial the call. In fact, Jason actually one of the reasons why I even have this truck because he gave me the ride out to Orangeburg to go pick it up. So shout out to Jason Busby once more. Anyway, I watched the debate last night, um, and the president was asked about uh, the situation on the border. And one of the things he talked about was how there were ch uh, how many of the children are brought across the border by coyotes, and you know, you know, as far as figuring out who their parents are, it could be very. And, um, and this was actually a point that was been talked about, you know, years ago, uh, how how coyotes will actually have have the children apart from their parents and have them with someone else, and to claim that they're and they claim that they're the children's parents, but when an investigation is done, it turns out that's not the case. So there's so there's a hard time figuring out um, who the, you know who are actually, who are actually the children's parents, which makes sense. Um, and I first heard the term coyote maybe ten years ago, something like that. I can't remember what. I think I heard on National Geographic. I was watching some program. Um, you know, and I'm pretty sure if you've seen um, any, of any of the Sicario films, the term coyote has come up. Um, and it just seemed. I, I figured it was. I figured it was. You know, common slang at this point, especially when everyone is talking about. You know, uh, everything is going on the border and. You know, children in cages and separating, you know, breaking up families and this, that, and the other. Until I watch a video, um, I watch a video by Memeology 101, and apparently, and thank, and I thank the Lord, I don't have a Twitter account. I don't know how, I don't know how anybody would, who is sane can do it, but apparently there was, he did a video, you know, they did a video talking about how there are people hanging on this word coyote. And in this, and I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna take this to another, I'm going to another point in this video. How they're saying that, wait, how are coyotes actually? They're they actually thinking about the animal coyotes, and not the not the slang term for humans for human traffickers, human smugglers. And there and there are people just going on about this about, the, about coyotes and like they didn't know what it meant. Like wait a minute, if you're on your phone before you put before and, and this, I just want to get about Twitter. And people and, and and maybe and it, 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 actually you know what? it makes sense. People who are people who are driven by emotion do not want to have their world shaken up to a point where they actually have to, to they have to ask questions about why they're so emotional. If you're on your phone, you can just go on Google and look up what, look up what coyote look, go on UrbanDictionary.com. It will tell you what it will tell you what coyotes are what what it, what that slang term means. It'll tell you what coyotes are. But no, people, they, people, they, no, these people who, they don't think, they feel, and they just can't help but let their feelings come out. <laughs> they, they go on Twitter and they talk about how, you know, they never heard, you know, what is this coyote? You know, is it really coyote, the animal of bringing, bringing people across the border? Like, come on, no. <laughs> you know, and, and all this, this, this further proves what Yuri Bezmoff was talking about. When he when he described demoralization in um, in that interview he did, where a person can be shower you can shower them with facts, you can shower them with information, and it will not penetrate, it will not get through them. Because in order to accept facts, you have to accept the you have to accept the reality that you do not know everything. In fact, you know nothing. <laughs> you know you know damn near close to nothing, and so you should be doing you should be doing all you can to study what's going on out there. You should be doing all you can to figure out how something works. Like I had to, like right now, I'm I'm about to do some brake work on the truck, and I had to, and I had this issue with my brake, my my front my front driver's side brake would engage on its own, and it's been going on like crazy. You know, instead of you know, and instead of bitching and moaning and not do not trying to do anything about it and just accepting it. No, I'm actually well, I'm in scouring the internet to <laughs> figure out what is what is going on. And I figured it out. You know, it was a mistake on my part when I put in the new hydro boost. I didn't bleed my system properly. You know, but I had to accept. I had to come to terms with that. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing. I paid a small price for it, and now I'm trying. Now I'm going to. I'm going to correct that. These people who they're they're so geared, they're so into their feelings, they can't be bothered with facts. They can't be bothered to actually figure out what, how something works, because they don't want to admit that they don't know everything. They think in their head they know everything, 
and to actually admit that will shatter their worldview, and they'll be faced they'll be faced faced with the reality that they've been acting in such a way that made no sense for years. And them can't take that. They can't. They can't accept it. Um, you think there are people who are who are moaning, moaning on about uh, children in cages, families being separated at the border, and you know, it really is all. It's really all their concern was based on Orange Man bad. That's all it was. They didn't give a shit about those kids. They don't. They don't. They, you know, they, they just want to go online and complain about. Oh, you know about about Trump, about about you know about uh, about about Donald Trump. They just want they just want to, they just want to put the, you know vomit their hate on the internet. If it's hate for this one guy, it's amazing. It's amazing to think that he's that. Well, he must be that powerful if he's living rent free in their head for so long. They couldn't take the time to actually just go and check out on on the internet a place that's just rich with information, figure out what is a coyote. No, that they're, they're no, they're, the demoralization has, has has taken over, you know. And he's and sadly, these people vote. So that that's 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 the destructive part. Um, but unlike Joe, unlike Joe Biden's campaign, I am not full of despair. I am not full of doom and gloom. I still have hope for things. I still have hope for better things in the future. Because I, for one, just admit that I don't know everything. Um, so I go out and try to learn as much as I can and pray for the rest. Uh, it, but this, but this whole thing about this this coyote thing, which is was, um, it tripped me out. Like you guys, you people really don't know all this time stuff going on the border. You don't know what a coyote is, man. This is nuts. <laughs> this has been a very interesting. This has been a very interesting. And not just not just this year. This has been a very interesting couple of years. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna get more interesting as time goes by. But please tell me what you think. Uh, do you guys have a Twitter account? How do you do it? I don't. I, I, I first, when I first heard about Twitter, I, I said I can't. I don't want really, to like, what, share, like share my feeling. You know, just typing things every. You know, just just typing things online, just share my feelings on why. You know, even though I do these videos, I still like to get. You know, I, I like to get. I welcome scrutiny. I welcome people to you know, the comment and stuff. Um, but it takes. But for me to do these videos, it takes a lot. Of, it takes forethought. It takes planning. You know, it takes me figuring out what I'm going to talk about. So I just I don't just want to you know, ramble on in, on the front of the camera. I may have done that a few times. But uh, but I try at least have a plan as to what I, as to what point I'm trying to make. But yeah, this demoralization is a bitch. <laughs> it really is. But please tell me what you think. Please leave a comment comment section. Like, share, subscribe. If you want to help out with the channel, just go to my homepage on YouTube. Look for the give up that cheese button, and take you to PayPal. Donate any amount you would like. Again, shout out to Dialed Bicycle Repair Service. Uh, also, shout out to Memology 101. Great videos. They're very, they're very informative. But this is my video. Coyotes running wild. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care. Be safe. And God bless.